Okay, so let's have a look at the Autumn 2020 challenge, which was how much older would you be if you stayed on Earth instead of travelling to Alpha Centauri at warp 5 or sublight speed. And I think I said sublight speed was going to be half the speed of light, so we'll use that uh, in the in the code later on. Uh, this is just the the version that I've put on, on GitHub without the code in, so we're going to complete the code uh, as you go through the video. So actually, when I was uh, researching this, I didn't realize how the uh, the drives worked for um, the warp drives. And apparently, they, they bend space-time around them so that you don't get time dilation uh, on the actual spaceship. So I thought that was a bit of a, a cop-out, but whatever. So there's no time dilation at warp speed. So that's, that answers the first uh, question. So you wouldn't be any older if you stayed on Earth instead of traveling to Alpha Centauri at warp 5. Okay, but you would experience time dilation at sublight speed, at half the speed of light. So that's what we're going to look at down here. So I'm, I'm going to need NumPy for this. So import NumPy as MP. Okay, so now we have NumPy. And then I've put in this equation here. This is the equation for uh, time dilation. So here we have uh, the time that someone on Earth experiences while we're traveling, which is uh, delta T here. This So this delta T is the time that uh, we take traveling from Earth to the, the star, and delta T prime is the person who's still on Earth. And gamma is something called the Lorentz factor, and if we put the Lorentz factor in here, you can see it's 1 over the square root of 1 minus v squared, so your velocity v, divided by c squared. And what we're going to do is we're going to calculate that uh, factor first uh, using our speed in terms of c so that we don't have to use the c squared term in our calculations. So let's try and do that now. So we want to define a function and this function is going to take our velocity. So here uh, takes a velocity in terms of c and then it returns the Lorentz oops returns the Lorentz factor which is unitless okay so uh, we could do this on separate lines but it's fairly simple so just return and then uh, we want numpy Sorry, so it's 1 over numpy dot square root. And then it's square root of 1 minus, and I said we can ignore the c squared if we put our velocity in, in terms of c. So this is just going to be 0.5 squared. We're traveling at 0.5 speed of light. Okay, so now we have our function which will return the Lorentz factor. So let's... Uh, Let's run this. So let's assign it to a variable first. We might need it later. So Lawrence and then 0.5. Ah, oh, look up here. I've made a mistake. This should be V. It's not a general case. V squared. There we go. Fix that. Lawrence 0.5. And then let's print it. Sanity. So, okay. So here, our Lawrence factor is 1.15 for us traveling at half the speed of light, okay? So that's the gamma factor up here. So now we just need to know what delta T is. So that's the time it takes us to reach Alpha Centauri. And assuming that we travel there in a straight line, that's 4.37 light years distance. So we're just going to use uh, our speed is distance over time equation uh, to work out the time that it takes us to get to Alpha Centauri. Okay, so here we're going to need our distance. So let's have distance in light years is 4.37. And I never remember the actual conversion to light years, so I'm going to skip over to my answers real quick. So I need this to convert to meters. So this here is in light years and we want it in meters so it's going to be 4.37 times by 
9.46 times 10 to the 15 this meters per light year so this comes out in meters in the end okay so here we have 4.13 times 10 to the 16 meters so it's a huge huge number okay so now uh, we need to calculate the time so if we remember our our formula speed is distance divided by time that means that time is going to be distance divided by speed so here we're going to have uh, t is equal to our distance d divided by our speed and our speed was 0.5 c so again I should really be defining my constant the speed of light before I do this and again I'm going to have to go and copy that across from here so my speed of light c is almost 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second so divide that by 0.5 c and I get my time in seconds okay but obviously um, doesn't mean much to us as, as obviously a very large time in seconds but it'll be easy for us to read if we turn it into years so I'm actually going to just write a small function two years which is going to take some time and it will return that time in years so divide by 24 seconds per minute sorry <laughs> brain melting so return the time divided by 60 seconds per minute 60 minutes per sec uh, per hour uh, 24 hours per day and then 365.25 days per year and then we can just use this on our uh, on our t value so let's do t years is equal to two years t and enter and or we want to print that so let's put the t years here there you go so it takes us 8.74 almost years to actually get to the alpha centauri at 0.5 times the speed of light so now we have we have this t years which is which is delta t in our formula at the top we have gamma the lorentz factor lf so now we just need to calculate delta t prime so how uh, how much time has passed for somebody on Earth whilst we've been traveling. So here we're going to do uh, dt is equal to our Lorentz factor times by our time in years. And we're going to print that. So here we go, 10.0913. And then uh, we're just going to do the difference between those two times. And we should get 1.352. So here's hoping dt minus. Uh, actually, let's uh, let's call it div t. So it's dt minus t years. And then let's print out div t. Okay, there we go. So 1.35 years older than uh, someone that has just arrived at Alpha Centauri. So when you're traveling really, really fast uh, at at least um, 0 0.1 times the speed of light or faster, then actually your time is slowing down for you. So here, because we're traveling so fast to the nearest star, time effectively sl is slow, slower than we were on Earth. So here, you, uh, somebody that stays on Earth is actually 1.352 years older than you because you've just arrived uh, at Alpha Centauri. Uh, so there you go. So if you want to have a play around with this more, then I suggest you, you go back up to where you calculated the Lorentz factor and actually uh, make a graph of, of how this Lorentz factor changes with V. So put in all the possible values of, of V from zero to the, the speed of light. Uh, well just under the speed of light otherwise you get a zero in the denominator and work out what the Lorentz factor is
Okay, that's it from me. This challenge was uh, fairly simple compared to some of the other ones. The next challenge is on tides uh, of planets which have more than one moon, so check that out.